Hey guys, it's Abby and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to share with you some of the travel journaling stickers that I got that are under 500 pesos. I got this all from Shopee. Make sure to keep watching the video so you can know more about where to get them and the types of designs that I got. Specifically, I got designs that were basically inclined to what I like, which is travel and Personally, if you've seen some of my styles, you'd know that I have a very specific retro vintage vibe that I like with regards to my layouts and spreads. So when I saw these on Shopee, it instantly reminded me to share it with you guys because a lot of people have been asking where I get my supplies and why I always say that I get them abroad. It's relatively harder to always travel and get them. And luckily, I got everything here that you see for under $10 or under 500 pesos. Actually, each pack is relatively like 60 to 80 pesos, which is less than $2, which is really great because then it's easier for you to just keep getting these things and use them and yeah so let's go through some of the favorites that i got these are all from a shop called uh, be happy crafts i will for the, uh, put their link down below their shipping transactions are very efficient i've ordered from them several times and that's why i wanted to share with you some of the stuff that i got from their shop so let's start with this one this is an sna travel stamp collection actually i bought this same pack like two years ago when I was in New York, but it was marked up really high. But anyway, I love it nonetheless. So you will see that most of the sticker flakes that they have, these are made in China, by the way. Um, they are packed in boxes like these. So this first one is actually really cute. These are stamps, so let me just show them for you. Um, I think they have a lot of designs. I used to use these for a lot of my travel spreads because the edges really looked like... Um, you know, postage stamps which are really, really nice. And I really love the color scheme that they used. I mean, no offense, some are not really like, like for example, I'm not into this font. But again, that's just me. Um, but you know, the others are just really, more or less, they have this old school vibe that I like which is why I really, really love them. And they come in a variety of colors and they're mostly full of text. And there's also like Russian and you know, other things. It's a very interesting mix. I have no idea how many pieces these are, but considering the quantity, um, it's pretty much a good uh, measure in terms of how many you can use. And they come in, this is my favorite, by the way, my personal favorite but they come in a lot of designs and a lot per design like at least two i think yeah that's two so i think that's really um useful in case you don't want to use everything and i think it's a great way to sort of like um you know use it on your spreads but at the same time you don't want to keep using the same thing over and over again so yeah so the next one i have here is called vintage hemisphere so I think, yeah, I bought this because I really wanted these um, circular globe shapes. These types of stickers really add a really nice um, element to your spreads. So they actually have a lot. And I really like the pale colors because usually when you work on journal spreads, especially when it comes to travel, I really like this whole like accent when it comes to the maps and the geographic locations. And there are like more minimal colors. There are also like shades of green, yellow. There are also like shades of blue here. And I think it's a nice mix because if you are looking into jazzing up some vintage style journaling spreads, I think it really works great considering the options here. Next up, I have no idea why I got this because now I'm like, why is the packaging kind of sketchy? But oh yeah, these are th I think um, license plates that I was supposed to get, yeah. So the reason why I actually got these is I like uh, when I pack orders or pack goodie bags, I also put these stickers on the front just so it looks more like, I don't know, I like decorating things with stickers so I think it was a good way to just, you know, get these and test them out myself. Oh, these are really nice. These are states from the United States. So there's Denver, there's, I think this is Australia, Adelaide. Okay, so it's a lot basically. There's also Texas and I also got this for the main reason that the typography is really nice and I'm very particular with that, you guys know that. And look at this, look at the colors, it's really great. I love this like warm tone and look at the vintage font that they use, it was a really great 
um, way. I think though it kind of is too boxy so then I could just cut it and use specifically which locations I, I'm going to or I want to use or my dream destinations or whatever but so okay <laughs> at least something I know there's New York, there's Maine, Liverpool, oh it's also in the UK, um, Amsterdam let me see. Oh, this is um, Switzerland, Lausanne, and Geneva. Last but not least for these flakes, I got this Par Avion Memo card. I actually got the same one from my friend but I used it all up so I thought of getting another one. This is basically um, airmail labels which I also love putting on envelopes and oops, okay apparently when I got it, it was already folded. But yeah, you will just see a lot of airmail Par Avion sort of stickers. Priority, which is cool because this is what you usually see when you get a, um, a postcard or some mail from other countries So again, I really am approving of this very um, Vintage color scheme, which I think really works well. It's not the usual um, Dark blue and red like the primary blue and primary red that they use for airmail It has sort of like a muted blue to it. So I really like it I think it would work great for my spreads and I think yeah most designs have like three of them three per design so it's really great for you to stock up on these and use them for your journaling and basically sticker needs I mean you can never get enough of stickers basically so it's always nice to you know have these on hand personally though I find it hard to store it on this box because it's too tiny so I'm gonna show you just a bonus, but this isn't included in the haul. I have this uh, King Jim album. So what happens here, this is a Flakes album, so it's pretty much very cool. So each envelope here, you can put in some flakes. So these are my pre previous sticker flakes. Don't mind that. See, I also still have the ones that I mentioned earlier. And I think it's really useful. I got it in Malaysia, but once I find an online link, I will make sure to link it down below, but basically, you just open up this envelope here at the bottom, put in your sticker flakes, seal it, and you're good to go. And I think it's really, really handy and convenient if you're into collecting a lot of sticker flakes like these versus if you have sticker sheets, that would be way easier. So before we end, I have two more. These ones I saw out of the blue and they're actually packed differently, but they're also spread. So let's take a look at them. So it's entitled The Retro Story. This be best present for yourself in the future. Well, indeed. Let me just share that I really love this. Um, first of all, this packaging is unnecessary, but um, I know that they're shipping it from overseas, but then, you know, points for improvement. This envelope, I really like it. It's, it's translucent. It's nice and crispy, if you can hear the sound. And when you open it, you have a load of these vintage labels, and I love them so much. I mean, First of all, the colors are really great. You have vibrant ones, you have pale ones. This pale pink, I am so in love with it. You also have um, a lot of um, yellows, warm tones, lilacs. And these are, I think, you know, some of them are like, so it says you're a pharmacist. It's basically vintage things and I like how you can juxtapose everything when you work on a journal spread. I will check out the other one so I can show you the difference between the two. I honestly have no idea if I got the same ones. I remember when I checked out, um, they were different. But it again belongs to the same um, family or collection of stickers. So I will link them down below for your reference as well. I love it. It's just like when you take everything out, it's like literally out. And they're actually quite big. Oh, okay. So these ones are more of tickets. I would say these are more apothe apothecary, like this uh, medicine kind of thing, like it's a prescription number and everything. And these ones are actually tickets, which are pretty much popular. I also have these in like paper form. Um, I guess when say paper form, it has more texture, but these ones actually work great on spreads alone. So you also have a good variety of colors here. Let me just open everything for you and show you some of them. 
So you have tickets to movies, you have train tickets, you have more admit one kind of tickets. And then you also have a variety of these like colorful tickets, which I really love. So yeah, that's gonna be great. So all of these for under 500 pesos is honestly a good steal. So keep watching, I will share more of the price. And at the same time, I'm gonna be journaling. So stay tuned. So this is the finished journal spread. On the left side, I just indicated uh, my dream travel destinations. Most of them I've already been to, but I always want to revisit some countries and cities. And on the right, you will see some reasons why I love traveling. Personally, I love traveling because I get to see the world in a bigger picture, discover myself on a deeper level, and at the same time, gain new experiences that I will treasure. So. These are using the stickers that I got from Shopee, some of the washi tapes I added. I will also link them down below. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will also 
um, keep you posted on the prices down below and where to get these stickers. If you're interested to get more travel journaling stickers, I suggest going up online and looking on Shopee. There are a lot of options and shipping doesn't take long. The max would, would take would probably be like three weeks depending if you're ordering overseas. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what type of journaling on a budget videos you'd like to see more of. I am working on expanding my library basically. So make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video and keep Keep watching my channel for more news, ideas, and inspiration on hand lettering, creative journaling, and travel journaling. This has been Abby, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!